Hi guys, great to have you back. I hope you are prepared to give me some input on my question at the end of this post. As previously announced, I would like to focus on droughts and migration. The land loss we face due to rising sea levels, massive concentrations of population on the ocean coasts, impending storms due to rising energy in the atmosphere, and changing temperature or precipitation scenarios worldwide will cause enormous migrations of populations to areas that already offer little space. Density stress will reach a supercritical level and destroy still usable agricultural land and natural areas. That means we have to create new habitable and usable areas. These were once available, such as the Sahara Desert, which was created due to climate changes and displaced the population. Today, the Sahara, through its constant expansion, threatens to destroy further parts and usable land. Drought areas in Somalia, northern Kenya, southern Ethiopia, northern Uganda, but also already in Europe, such as southern Spain or southwest France, United States, Australia or Asia offer themselves. The surface of our blue planet consists of 99% salt water. Only 1% of the water on Earth is fresh water. 1%. If we could start to desalinate salt water and renaturalize the mentioned areas, we would hit several targets with only one bullet. Let's start with the first one. Number one, the areas would become again habitable. The local population would have work and a new perspective. Green zones would help to solve the carbon dioxide problem. Migration would be minimized and many more. This intervention, of course, would have consequences to our climate. Like all human interventions in their environment, definitely. But the effects would also be felt on a long-term basis and therefore manageable. My idea goes as far as building salt water desalination plants on a global scale and laying pipelines to the areas mentioned. I've sent my question to the UN or to the University of Munich, to television documentary editors, but never received an answer from anyone and here is my question to you. Why is the acute and imminent water shortage in some areas constantly discussed, but seawater never considered? It is known to me that plants are already existing or and operating. Southern Spain, the United Arab Emirates, Saudi Arabia, in general, the process is presented as very expensive, but some of the exi existing plants are already aging. But we have new technologies and could refine them. Laser power plants, hydrogen power plants, driving turbines that force seawater through the desalination plants. So easy. 
Let's imagine if the countless trillions of dollars, euros, etc., spent on wars and weapons were put into this project. As I say, water for the world. I'm convinced that the costs would be less than the costs of just complaining or doing nothing. And it would be a task for the UN to turn itself in such a way from a tiger, from a paper tiger to the world reorganizer. To whom would you address yourselves in order to receive an answer to this question? Can you help me? Okay, thanks for watching. Thanks in advance for your input. And on that note, I wish everyone a great life and a successful future. Have a good time. Bye-bye.